Today I'm going to be demonstrating or testing Singular's Presto software, which allows you to use Sony Vegas to create professional PowerPoint presentations of speaker presenters, saving time and coming out with a professional product. I've already set up the project. I've added the uh, the main uh, video from the speaker. You could see on track one here, which was recorded with a Sony. EX1 uh, camera and then I've added the um, video of the screen which was recorded with a Panasonic GH1 and down here you can see the um, separate audio in this case we recorded it separately using a shotgun mic uh, connected to a Zoom H4N recorder. Now I've already added the um, slides to the project and we're going to go and find here we got back up here the uh, software from Presto or from Singular Presto software so let's see here I have the slides are already in the video is in now when you do this it asks you if the tracks are synchronized or if not you can run you need to synchronize the tracks and you can run pluralize here and I tried that but it didn't work for some reason maybe because the video uh, the main recording was split into four it was a 46 minute presentation quite long and um, we had to change media in the camera and that is why it ended up in four pieces as you can see here on the timeline I'm moving it so I uh, synchronized it uh, manually and now we're going to uh, process this I just have to get my window down here so I can hit the process button which is down here and then we'll see the process of um, Okay, so it's asking me to save my project first. I save it as test two. And then we're going to process. And you'll see here the um, rendering of it. And you can see in the background, if I can move this window, no I can't. I can't really move anything. But behind this window over here, you could see the uh, process taking place. Now what's interesting, it uh, actually tracks, you see it tracking the um, the speaker uh, with its software so that it will be able to keep the speaker in the frame. And this was a big challenge for the software because the speaker was moving all over the place um, walking around and we had to follow him with the camera and so we'll see um, how the process ends up if the software can actually keep him in the frame and throughout the the presentation once it combines all the elements so here is the output window or the result of the rendering by um, the software by the presto software and you can see now that uh, if we look at the tracks here I'll just move my uh, window up here so you could see all the tracks that there's uh, first of all there's markers that have been placed throughout the timeline I'll just enlarge the timeline a little bit as well and you can see that each marker is coinciding with a uh, place mark or is acting as a place mark for each slide that has now been dropped into the timeline to the timeline um, in order to replace the uh, video from the screen and uh, you can see that track now is muted out here's the mute button so that no longer appears and it's replaced by the um, by the slides uh, that were JPEG slides from the original PowerPoint and it's also placed the track up here with a mask so you could see on the preview window right at the top let's move that out of the way 
you look at the preview window I'll just enlarge it you can see the mask up here and the replacement slide let me just make this a little better quality I'll pull it to full and you can see now that the um, oops it's getting in the way uh, that the slide is actually on a slant you can control that with the software as well so the bottom line is it's done a great job I've gone through this already uh, prior and have made some adjustments but the adjustments were pretty minor uh, at the end it it, uh, it made a little mistake a couple of mistakes on the slides but it was easy to correct but it did track the presenter throughout and kept them within that circle so it's a great time saver um, and the only thing that you need to be careful of of course is going down to the basics doing good audio recording a good recording of the presenter and um, uh, just having the second camera on the screen so good job by singular software with the presto uh, software that they've created along with uh, the other softwares which are great for syncing audio um, or syncing different videos uh, via the audio uh, such as the dual eyes uh, or in this case it's the um, uh, let's try to remember the name uh, yeah plural eyes sorry about that so the plural eyes software uh, is does a great job as well in this case it had trouble I think because of the uh, the media was um, not recorded uh, continuously on one media card but I will f uh, write to Singular to find out their take on this but all in all I think it's if you're doing a lot of PowerPoint it's a great tool to use and um, and be able to publish your PowerPoint presentations very quickly thanks for listening